Oh, wait a minute. You can't be out on that field flying blind. Today, we're going to talk about three things every defensive back needs to know while he's playing the game on DB Tip Clips. Okay, I know how it is. You're out there. You're in the game. Things are going 100 miles an hour. The crowd is yelling. Your coach is yelling. Things are going full speed. And sometimes you get caught up and you just forget some of the things that you need to do. Well, I'm here to tell you, you're going to need to kind of change the way you play. And there are three very important things that you have to know while you're out on that field if you're going to be that elite playmaker that you have always dreamed about being. But before we do that, let me go ahead and have you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and hit the bell so you're notified the next time I put out a great great DB video like this one. Also, if you're trying to raise your game to the elite level, stop getting beat by wide receivers. You absolutely have to join my All Eyes DB Camp members area. I have a link to it down in the description below. Over 200 videos on tips, coverages, coverages explained, technique, drills, everything you need to raise your game to the ultimate level. I'm also very excited to announce the release of my first book. It is 101 DB Tips. It's the ebook that I've released. That that's out there and made for you. If you're a DB, if you're a coach of DBs, if you're a trainer of DBs, you absolutely have to own this book. I will also have a link to that in the description down below. And I'm feeling the holiday spirit, so I'm gonna do this for you guys. Comment below, answer to this question. Number one thing you think you need to work on. And if you're a coach out there, you can answer this as well. What's the one thing you feel like you need to get better at coaching DBs? Answer that down below. And on December 22nd, I'm gonna randomly pick one person out of the comments that answer that question and I'm going to send you a free copy of the ebook 101 DB tips well what if you purchased it already if you can prove that you purchased it I will refund you the amount that you purchased so it ends up being free for you anyway so there's only going to be one winner so December 22nd I'm going to find someone in this comment section that I'm going to send that ebook to if you can't wait go ahead hit that link in the description and get it in your hand right now you need to know seven on seven season is coming all, all of the camps are coming I mean, every, look, football's a year-round sport. So as much of these tips as you can get it into your head and into practice right now, it's just going to help you be that much better at the next thing. And again, if you purchase it and I select you, I will refund you the money that you purchased it if you're the person that I selected. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of why we're here today. There's those three things that you need to know while you're out there on the field. I'm going to get straight to the point. I've been out there on the field before, and yes, I know sometimes things get a little crazy, and I have been a guy that may have forgotten a few of these things, but when I got really really good at playing this game I knew these three things literally every play when I was playing and it totally helped my game so I'm speaking to you from experience the number one the first thing you need to know every time you line up is the down and distance seems pretty elementary right but if you've played this game you know you've been out there either for an entire game or for several plays in a game and didn't know the down and distance. That is something you need to end right now. Make it a habit of as soon as the play is over, get up, look at the sticks, know the down and distance. The number one thing that determines what plays the offense is gonna run is the down and distance. Offensive coaches know this, they know what the down and distance is, and that determines the play that they're gonna call off of that sheet. So it stands to reason that if that's what they're using to determine what they wanna run, you're gonna need to know that too so you can narrow down what it is you think you're going to be seeing on this next play. Of course, they'll break the huddle and they'll line up in a formation and that can further allow you to peer things down and know, have an idea of what might be coming your way. But it all starts with that down and distance. Well, the best way for you to do this is to start doing it in practice. Know the down and distance, pay attention to it when it's said to you. And if you guys are in practice and that's not a part of your practice, first of all, if you're a coach, end that practice now. Start having a situation where there's a down and distance and you're running the plays that you've seen the opponent run in those particular down and distance and just kind of really make it a rehearsal for your players you know if you've been running your seven on sevens and your team periods without a down and distance change that immediately start making good practice habits that will make smart players if you're a player and that's not happening in your practice go up to your coach at some point and let him know that it would help you if there were down and distances matched up with the plays out there not just plays being run at you down and distance is a big part of it. He'll have no cause other than to respect you because he does want you to be a smart player. He knows that's going to lead to you making more plays. But start in practice. Make it a habit in practice so when the game comes around, it's second nature to you. 
whatever it is you've got to do you have to know the down and distance number two you got to know where you are located on the field sounds elementary right that's another thing that can get kind of lost as you're all wrapped up in the game and your one-on-one -on -one battles and making tackles and everything else that's going on crowd people yelling whatever the case may be it is important to know where it is you're located on the field if you've ever seen an offensive coordinator with this big play sheet that looks like a menu and all these color codes on it i guarantee you some of that color coding and the sections on that play sheet has to do with where the offense is located on the field they'll have a certain set of plays for coming out of the end zone they'll have a certain set of plays from the 20 to the 40 from the 40 to the 40 from the 40 to the 20 in the red zone and goal line going in and that's going to be a determination of what they run all right so if they're basing their place based on where they are located on the field it just stands to reason that you should know where you're located on the field as well that's just another element that you can use to kind of narrow down what it is you're going to be seeing on a play-by-play -play basis and one of the biggest things that i see is guys just not paying attention in that 40 to 40 area and the offense gets to the middle of the field that's where they like to take shots and guys are just totally unaware and they get hit with a big post when they're in cover four or they get hit on a goal ball when they're in cover three or cover one because that's a one-on-one -on -one matchup outside and you just kind of wouldn't prepare for it and that didn't have to happen if you had some awareness and you kind of knew what was coming your way all right so you have to pay attention to where you are on the field that's one of the other big things that determines the plays that are coming your way and you may or may not be able to practice this on the field because sometimes you just don't have a whole practice feel when things are being run at you so this is something you're gonna have to play over in your mind as you watch film where we located on the field watch more film kind of put yourself into the film like you're playing against this team and give yourself the practice of knowing where you are located on the field it kind of help you when it comes to the game make things a little easier for you there number two you must know where you are located on the field and finally number three you've got to know who's in the game that means something one year the green bay packers had a running back that would come into the game on third down and i'm here to tell you like almost 90 percent of the time when he came into the game it was a screen pass it was so obnoxious and they were so frivolous with it it kind of seemed like they just felt like oh well you know the defenses aren't that smart they won't even pick up on it and you know what they would get away with it a whole lot it used to just drive me nuts so you guys have got to know who's in the game sometimes that third down back is the guy that they run trick plays with or he's the guy that they run the screens with why is this certain speedy receiver in is he only running eight routes and nine routes why do they bring a second tight end in all that stuff you got to pay attention to while you're watching film and if you've noticed it on film then definitely got to notice it in the game what was the point of noticing it on film if you're not going to pay attention to that in the game so you've got to know who's in the ball game all right certain teams will use players to run certain plays you just got to know that they will bring guys in to do certain things a guy comes in and all he does is run reverses and things of that nature so pay attention to who's in the game that's the third most important thing you need to know out there and so i know this is a lot of stuff right it's gonna feel that way but again if you start ironing that out and practice it starts to become second nature in the game and you're not really even thinking about having to do it so much it's just going to be second nature for you to look over at the sticks it's just going to be second nature for you to know where you're located on the field and then you'll just get in the habit of kind of noticing who they bring in the game who's the running back why are there two running backs in? why are there two tight ends in? why is the big receiver in? why is the fast receiver in? all those things will be second nature to you and when that starts happening you're going to start finding yourself around the football a whole lot more often so that means more more interceptions more pass breakups more fumbles recovered and just knowing where to be on the field and that's just that simple all right so one more time know the down and distance know where you're located on the field and know who's in the game very very simple for you all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already check out the all eyes db camp members area but most important don't forget the question that i'm asking you what's the biggest thing you think you need to work on in your db game whether you're a player or you're coaching dbs go ahead and drop that comment and again on december 22nd i'm going to randomly pick someone out of the comments section to receive my brand new ebook 101 db tips and again if you've purchased the book already because you couldn't wait and you shouldn't i will refund you the price that you paid for the book so it's going to be free for you one way or another all right looking forward to you guys doing that let me not hold you up anymore you guys need to get to practicing and start thinking about these tips that you just got off of this video so until next time all eyes db camp consistency breeds results